Hello, how are you? Welcome, welcome back to Show New Trend. I'm your host of today and my name is Elvis Terry. I was recently watching a church service of Pastor Tim Wangi of Life Church Lemuru and he caught my attention when he accurately described who is a Gen Z, understanding the Gen Z. So if you are a parent to a Gen Z, then this video is for you. Enjoy this church service. So the next one is Gen Z. Mbogi Oya. Mbogi Oya. Gen Z, between 1995 to 2011, lift up your hand. Kuna 95 hapa. Ay, 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 ay. Mimi upasta kanisa ya Gen Z, kuisha. Naja kufa atsuti. Sasa nzanini, na hindiyo generation. 1990, ebus mameni. Na si tunachomea. 1995 to 2011. Ha! Huh. My wife just come and see the church we are pastoring. No joy kazi ni mingi. We! I'm so happy that I'm pastoring you. You can have your seats. This generation is between 11 years to 28 years. 11 years to 28 years. They have been exposed to information early. Because they were born in the age of information. Social media and all those things. They were born in the age of information. So this generation is not a generation of fools. They know when you are lying to them. They are exposed. Extremely tech savvy. Extremely. You can give your 12 year old your phone and they will show you things you never knew they exist. Wazazi najua amna shida na mpesa. Iyo mpesa apu najua iko. If there is one app enye akuna mzazi, iyo uwezi taka kusaidiwa. Mpesa. There are, <laughs> there are other apps on your phone that a child can help you discover. That generation, Gen Z's, they are authentic, real, and comfortable. What do I mean? Remember the millennials are broken. There is a lot we are trying to hide behind the face. Gen Z's, they, there is nothing they are hiding. Gen Z, Madame, Nyuele, Team Natural. No salon, no, not wakienda waike braids, ni za green na purple. You know, most of the Gen Z's don't do makeup. For what? For them, this is me. Take it all, leave it. They love, they love people who are truthful and people who are themselves. That's why you can't reach Gen Z by trying to be like a Gen Z. Kawe ni mze, tunakupenda na uze yako. That's why on TikTok, some of the Gen Z's wano nangawa mama wakijaribu anti TikTok challenge wa shino uyu sasa, siye shimu miaka. You know, because they feel you are trying too much to be in our space. And they love real people. Wana force issues. They love real people. Now, if you are a parent here, sometimes when do wawu na mchelewesha? Juyeye vili ya meamuka ni hivu atakuja church. Na sweater baggy. Now you only them. Na pajama. Na viatu za sandak. Crocs. Unasikia mom, you are not ready. Uradhiya kanitho? Unasikia. Sindio mom, kwani kwa na kaje? Watu watakuwa na ujwa. Mi, mi si, mi si mind vile watu wananiona. Mi ni kosawa. Singuwa ni mimi ni kwe comfortable. Mi naenda church. Maboyu kiona vile wame kuja church. Sisi ndo tuko na swagia Sunday best. Au vile wamea, na, na tokiwa, ata kwa job place. They are defying all the laws. Mambo sijui ya suti tai. Utu tu mtu yujin, tunabebanga ka bag. Na wakona turabas na ka jeans ka tight. Utu tu mtu ndo tu milionea. Utu tu jama. Ndiyo time muna jengo na sikia ngamu na kuambia pasi. Wajatuni kwa chie iso. Mboka ikijipa. Tutona vile tacheza kimimi. Utu tu mtu tuogope. Kabaka black. Turabas. 
na ka jeans. <laughs> Anakaanga pali kuna wifi. Transactions at a make. There's a young man who gave his father 30,000. What he does is online typing. And per month he makes more than 150. The father has been a high school headmaster. For the last 30 years. So the man came to Nairobi. After six months, he went back home with a Mark X. The father could not believe. Akamuliza Aje. Akamambia, President Alisema, Unafinya? Dola inatoka. So, please, parents, when you re realize that your child is very much attracted to technology, some of these children are running very major forex trades. Some are genuine, not all of them, but some are genuine. They are doing serious business. Uh, 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 the the brother-in-law to Pastor William, when he cleared from four, he just said, I want to be a gamer. No one understood him. He asked for a machine that was almost 200,000. Today, he's one of the leading gamers in Kenya. He's making money in a small room. Gaming. He was even, he, he's a coach. Yeah. He was, a, he was called by the government to coach Kenyan gamers. You don't know him. But that man will play a game between 12 and 3. By the time he's sleeping, he has $500. You multiply that with 130, he's 65,000. Iyo ni pesa unamukanga 6 Monday to Friday, una intercede, una piga warfare, una scatter opposition in the office. Ama. Na bado upati. And that's why some of the millennials don't have a relationship with Gen Z. Because as a big brother, I am not understanding how. How? Wewe na carelessness yako, you are still making it. And guess what? Because th this generation, if they are well nurtured, this is a revolutionary generation. These ones, if they decide to vote in 2027, if they don't have the seven years, <laughs> yeah, so there is a bill going down, they want to add seven years. Where, wherever they will vote, with their thinking, our lazima tuwapende. Our wanaweza kutana mkutano waseme, hii Kenya shida yetu ni waze. Tuwaeke wote kwa malori, tuwaeke Lake Victoria. Tuwanzi afresh. That, this, I tell you, that's how these people think. So, waze, our watu tu suwa treat vibaya. Miyake inakuja. Wanaweza tuwamulia. Generation Z, mimi ya Kenya muzi ni pangie mabaya. Mimi ni kosa itienu. But are you getting something? But, but they have they have radical thinking. They are revolutionary. They are calling themselves the disruptors. They are trying to challenge the systems and how things have been done. They have already changed the hotel system. They don't go to hotels. They go to BNBs. Today, if you are building a hotel, you are in, you are you are making a loss. BNBs are the next in thing. They have changed the transport system. They don't buy cars. They hire. Because they don't think ownership. They think access. A Gen Z will look at a Gen X. And ask why should you work? Make 17 million. Buy a V8. Yet you can work. Make 10,000. Hire a 17 million V8. And enjoy. That's how they are thinking. And, and so they have revolutionize the world even in europe right now majority of the young people are not working to grow the economy they are working for necessity so if i can work for three hours get food get money to save to come and bask in kenya and i get my money why should i work for eight hours they have the wise of life if they are well mentored they will take kenya to the next level if they are not mentored my goodness this generation can scatter everything we ever worked for. There are three generations. Them that gather. Them that manage. And them that scatter. I was telling my wife. Mimi nitafanya kazi na wisdom. Nita save. Nita taftiwa toto urithi. Lakini sita jinyima. 
excess nitafunza utu tuingine kujimanejia because their parents who died gathering for their children today they have scattered you know one major supermarket which was closed in Kenya read the story of that man he sacrificed everything build an empire in less than a generation it's not there so wazazi tafadhali ukiona hii imetosha anza kwenda holiday eh hey, ingia ndege na bibi enda dubai rudishia mwili shukrani si kusema hapa eh hey, ni watoto tunatafuta hao watoto kama wajifikirie wewe jifikirie yeah enda hapa zanzibar otajua enjoy life before rapture kuna watu unatafutia na hawaoni value so waeke kidogo ya maandiko that a good father shall leave an inheritance to his children children he ingine juendi heaven nayo kula hapa enjoy here si ati siku naenda india ni juu ya diabetes kufanywa kidney transplant that should not be the way ati siku ya kwanza kupanda ndege ni juu kulikuwa na magonjwa if you are a parent let us be radical are we together don't die to raise a generation that might might abuse your labors I saw the grandson of Chris Kirubi the late blessed memory. All he wanted to do in the burial of his grandfather is play the flute. And then he was asked, "So what do you think?" He said, "I didn't understand why grandpa grandpa it's on social media was earning all this money." I said, "If this one is not mentored, potential scatterer." <laughs> Hallelujah. So please that's why we need intergenerational pole leo nimewaeka lakini acha nimalize What is the greatest need for Gen Z What is their greatest need People have not understood them Gen Zs are looking for emotional wellness Money is not what drives them houses cars no they are looking for emotional wellness as parents don't be surprised the marriages of the future will be very dramatic you will see a doctor marrying a dancer you you are used to it's doctor engineer because the need of that doctor is not money is wellness you you know some of us people a generation married because of rank amesoma nini lawyer that's a good woman a lawyer na huyu wangu ni daktari alafu nasikia you know my 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 children married a doctor at the next generation ha huh. <laughs> kuta governor amolewa na mtu wa gym Sisemi watu wa gym si watu for my own security. But I'm just trying to say they we they are defying those social norms because what they are looking for is wellness. Gen Z is a very good generation. The day you open your scars, they will open their hearts. But if you want to meet them on perfection, you will lose them right now some of the teenagers in gen z they don't even know the popular people we know they have their celebrities on tiktok and they are forming things they are calling tribe and families because they are looking for other wounded people speaking their language and they are identifying with them That's why the days of saying oh we are bringing a certain artist in church so that the young people can come they are over. The unaweza let artist akuliza who's that guy? Umse atumjui because kwa hii family kwa hii kwa hii kwa hii community he's not one of us. And and parents now we need to understand these kids or children whatever they are looking for is emotional wellness. Why? they grew without present parents the parents were too busy looking for things and that's why they 
get offended when you begin the conversation of who will you be? What will you be? Because when you parade your medals, that is the first thing you will do for them to give you a distance. Some of them, because of information, they know things that they have no stature to handle. I've shared the end, I've said, there, there, there are things that are shared, shared to the president. It is called intelligence. Because as a man on that seat, he has a stature to handle that information. There are things when you know them, you have no stature. They will provoke curiosity, provoke actions. Some of the Gen Z's are in relationships and they have not matured to handle emotions. Some got into sexual perversion early. They are crowded. They are messed up. Some of their reactions online is not something to be tolerated and celebrated. It is a public cry. We need help. They will never come where we are. We must go where they are. We must allow them to interact with us. And we must be real. Remember they can detect lies. They can detect fakeness. If you don't know what you're saying, don't tell them. They have Google. When you are meeting them, they don't meet you from a place of advice. They are meeting you from a place of clarity and confirmation. Sometimes what you are telling them, they know. They just want to confirm. These ones, very learned, very exposed. They have arguments and philosophies. And this generation, I believe prophetically, is a revolutionary generation. If only the church can zoom on them. Because you mix Gen Z and millennials, you have, and now the alphas, you realize that 40 million Kenyans are either alpha, Gen Z, or millennial. 40 million. If you are doubting, anyone that is 35 years and below, lift up your hand. Just lift it up high. That five years and below. Just stand. That five years and below. Sasa non meanza kujua waze. Church, this is Kenya. This is a sample of how Kenya looks like. And this generation is so gifted if they are well trained and raised, Kenya, we have a better future. Is someone getting me? We have a better future. So tell me in the comments down below what you think about Pastor Tim Wangi's preaching. And also if you're a parent to a Gen Z or if you're a Gen Z or any other generations, tell us in the comments down below. Be open and open your heart and let us share our thoughts on the comments down below. God bless you and God bless Kenya. Bwana sifuwe mbogi. Nye ndo tunategemea. Hii revolution tunangoja Kenya na revival. Ni nyinyi mtaileta. One generation fought for freedom. Another generation set the systems of government. Even as we are seeing right now what our president is trying to do. But I believe this generation will take Kenya to the next level. You will take Kenya to the next level. Because you guys are not tribal. You guys are real and genuine. And there is only one attack that the devil might use in your day. It will be the attack of values. And more so, moral values. I have heard this statement, Watu watu wajibambe, watu wafanya kile wanata, maisha niyao. That is a walk philosophy, straight from the pits of hell. That's where you get the concept of Luciferianism. I am happy that you guys are in church. This is an army. You are enough for Kiambu County. You guys can turn Kiambu County upside down. If the governor of Kiambu will come out of this area, in the, leave this election, the next one, one of you are quite governor, one of you are quite senator and the MCAs, will begin to see a change in our land. There are deposits of grace over your life. And I want to covenant with them. Hallelujah. Lift up your hand and the other hand place it on your belly. Because I want to pray a prayer of faith. Father, 
in the name of we have seen all the weapons released by the enemy against this generation lord we have seen arsenals and arrows deployed from the pits of hell to destroy them but the bible says the more they were oppressed the more they increased there are many things that have been said about generation z but i want to declare you will be the last generation but you will pioneer things for the other generations where other generations failed may you be the one to correct the error may you take this land to another level in your families i release you as a people to bring solutions even in your own communities i declare i was born for such a time like this i am a solution i am a sign and a wonder and i announce now ceilings will be broken history will be written and i declare spirits of suicide spirits of depression anything released upon this generation perversions you have no power over my life i announce i am exempted in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus as you go back to school i declare you are covered with the blood of yeshua Whatever altars that rule in those schools cannot touch you. We send you as an agent of the cross. We send you as an ambassador of the gospel. Whatever you have heard during Doxa, let those sounds become cancelled. I want to declare as you enter wherever God has planted you to enter, you cannot be compromised. You cannot be defiled. Whatever has been deposited cannot be deleted. May you arise to be a history maker. May you change the narrative in your generation. And may you become all that the Lord has ordained you to become. In the mighty name of... Amen. Thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I'm your host Elvis Derry. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Elvis Derry.